Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday, October 22nd, 2022. And uh, it's been about four weeks since I did the uh, the overseed. So I promised you guys I would give you some type of uh, update video. So here it is. Um, it's been about four weeks since I overseeded. Um, if you watch my video back then, I actually kind of switched it up a little bit. I get it, you know, Bermuda is typically overseeded with uh, perennial rye grass. That's what I do. but. I decided to kind of change things up uh, this year and, and see how it went. And I did some uh, tall fescue this time. Um, it's coming along pretty good. I, I would give the lawn probably a seven and a half, eight of a, a, out of 10 on a grade. It's not the greatest, but it's looking good. Um, actually, we are getting ready to have a, a birthday party today. And um, having said that, I do want to say happy birthday to my son, Yeshua. Um, he's turning 15. So obviously that's a big deal for us, and uh, we want to make sure that he has a, a a great party. You know, hopefully family members and um, you know friends come over and and wish him happy birthday too. So here is the state of the lawn. Um, have in mind, you know, it's 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 still pretty pretty new, and uh, as far as coming up and everything. So there's some areas that it's not necessarily um, doing so well. So check it out. All right, guys, so there it is. I'm cutting, I think, about uh, just above one inch. Um, I do know that tall fescue, and again, you know, because I switched it out this year, I have to learn about tall fescue, um, hence the name tall. So next time I cut it, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it a little bit taller and see how it looks. I think like that, it, it actually looks pretty good. It's not that bad. So there's some areas that are not necessarily filled in. Um, you know, obviously along the edges and stuff, but that's something that um, I'll have to work on. What I do when I overseed, I try not to go too heavy on the on the, on the edges because then the edges will be filled of of grass, and then it's going to be a pain to be pulling them out and everything. So um, here's the state of the lawn of the backyard. Today I do want to show you the front uh, the front lawn. It's been a long while since I showcase the front it was not doing so well during the summer i mean i mean it was good but uh i think my my uh my main focus has always been the uh the backyard but let me show you guys the uh the front and as you can see i have to kind of take a little bit of a walk but there it is there is the uh the front um I, I cut this a little bit shorter than the front because I was kind of testing to see how it's going how it was going to look but there it is I'm still the best lawn in the in the neighborhood by the way so there it is guys uh, four weeks after overseeded thank you all for watching it's been it's been a pleasure I appreciate you guys giving me your feedback your comments um, all the people that know me that kind of give me some uh, pointers and feedback and ask me questions and things like that so there it is uh, shoot a three-minute video I'm almost reaching 500 subscribers already so thank you again please like share and subscribe tell your friends and we'll see when I hit 500 God bless you guys and happy birthday to my son again God bless you son I love you